your steam engine is no longer a gasoline engine and the lubrication requirements are not the same. Let's begin by understanding that the gasoline engine rings are designed to work under extreme pressure. Under the low pressure of a steam engine, the condensed steam will get past the rings and into the crankcase where it will quickly foul the oil. Keeping the components well lubricated with fresh oil requires a few simple steps. Your engine will be periodically lubricated through two oiler holes, one in the crankcase and one in the valve cover. Fouled oil will constantly drain out of the removed drain plug. It's that simple, but let's discuss the location of the oiler holes. We want our drops of oil to be spread evenly to the crankshaft, wrist pin, lower cylinder and piston, rockers and valves, and the tappet and camshaft. The reciprocating motion of the engine will spread a few drops of oil to all the internal points if it is applied in the right place. The upper bore of the cylinder will be lubricated by steam and a small amount of oil that is carried by the rings. Let's start with the crankcase. Permanently remove the drain plug. Regardless of your engine platform, find a point on the crankcase centered above the connecting rod where the drops of oil will cover as much of the components as possible during a cycle. Even if this varies from engine to engine, the connecting rod and crankshaft will spread the oil as the engine spins. On the Predator, the ideal point is just above the bottom of the piston at the bottom of its stroke. We recommend that you remove your crankshaft for completion of these next steps, but it's not necessary. If you choose to remove the crankshaft, you'll need to disconnect the connecting rod. When the connecting rod is free, remove your flywheel. You can remove the flywheel using a puller or simply loosen the flywheel nut a few turns so that it protects the shaft. Apply some pressure to the back side and tap it with a hammer. Position your crankshaft so that it is free of the connecting rod and slide it out. When you are sure that you've located your best hole position, protect the inside of your engine from metal filings and drill a small hole. Make sure there are no burrs or metal filings when you're done. Next, Lubricate your main crankshaft bearings and camshaft seats with a high quality liquid grease. This grease will flow in as a liquid and then semi solidify. If you didn't remove your crankshaft and can't get to your bearings, you can flood them with heavy gear oil. This grease or oil is only to protect the bearings until the oil begins to circulate to them. Reassemble your engine. The upper valve assembly needs to be periodically oiled. You can leave your valve cover off and oil it that way, or you can locate the best position for an oil hole in the valve cover. The hole should allow the oil to land where it flows to all points, including the push ride where it will drain down to the tappet. Your crankcase needs to vent pressure and vacuum as the piston goes up and down. If you find that it is struggling to vent through the oil drain, open up other sources. 
You may need to remove or disable any one-way valve in the valve cover. So let's run and oil an engine. Note the used oil draining. It can be captured and redirected with a hose. When you stop your engine, even for a few minutes, add a large dose of water displacing oil into the cylinder through the exhaust port and rotate the engine a few times. Otherwise, it will seize. Now we will fully assemble the engine using all the crankcase bolts. If it spins freely, you're ready for steam. Linking to high pressure steam requires good fittings. Use a proper adapter for your spark plug threads. We prefer braided hose. Addition of a heavy flywheel smooths out the performance of your engine. And that's it. Good luck and have fun. <laughs>